You lost another super bot? I didn't lose him. He's more than that. He's evolving. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. I had strings, but now I'm free. It's a good little jingle until it means the end of the world. It seems like no one in the MCU ever learns. Don't mess with things you don't understand. S.H.I.E.L.D. played around with the Tesseract and New York almost got wiped out. Tony wanted to create a suit of armor around the world and Ultron nearly brought the extinction of all life. S.W.O.R.D. wants to make Vision a weapon and now Ultron is back in his perfect form and ready to finish what he started. If you're like the many who have no idea who or what White Vision is, then you clicked on the right video, friends. Debuting in issue 45 of the West Coast Avenger comic series, White Vision is essentially the glued back together version of Vision created by Hank Pym after being dismantled by future government rogue agents. Agent sent by Immortus, better known as Kang the Conqueror, who we know will debut in the upcoming Ant-Man film. While Hank can rebuild Vision's body, he unfortunately can't restore his mind. As a result, Vision doesn't have the memories or the sense of humanity that made Vision what he was. I'm not amused. Much like his colorless body, Vision is just a cold android. Now, at some point, Vision does begin to regain a bit of his personality, but that's a whole convoluted story involving Vision switching bodies with Anti-Vision, an evil version of Vision from a different universe, so let's just jump into this version of White Vision. While it would be so cool for Kang to somehow be involved, WandaVision hasn't dove into the multiverse yet, and we know S.W.O.R.D., specifically director Tyler Hayward, is behind the colorless android. However, it seems like Vision taking on his anti-self will play out. Dr. Lewis, I have questions. I have answers. White Vision is online and looks as cold as any evil robot would. He has all the powers of Vision, but none of the warmth, humanity, or ability to hold back his true power. Also, it looks like S.W.O.R.D. with their newly acquired weapon is about to kick down Westview's front door. However, knowing how Vision was created originally, it makes me ask what or who exactly is White Vision? How did S.W.O.R.D. get Vision online? Even though Vision is a cold shell of his former self, he has to be powered by some code. And there is where our problem lies. In the MCU, Vision was built by Ultron and powered by Jarvis and the Mind Stone. However, deep in Vision's Matrix was a secret waiting to wreak havoc on the world. CBR fans, I hate to break it to you, White Vision may be Ultron. This is the next me. I bet you're asking, how could this new version of Vision be Ultron? Ultron was destroyed at the end of Age of Ultron. This is the tricky part because while Ultron was destroyed at the same time, he wasn't. In episode 7 of WandaVision, Vision drops an interesting line. This seems like nothing but a throwaway gag, but as the MCU does with everything, this line serves the purpose of reminding the viewer that Vision was created from Ultron. This is where the danger lies in S.W.O.R.D.'s plan to bring Vision back to life. Somewhere deep within Vision's matrix could be Ultron hiding away waiting for his move to strike. We know that Ultron is somewhere in there too. Before Jarvis was uploaded, Ultron tried to upload his consciousness, but failed. However, it doesn't mean strands of his code didn't stick around. It's the exact fear the Avengers had when Thor brought Vision to life. However, paired with the Mind Stone, it's almost as if the consciousness of Jarvis and Ultron fused, giving birth to Vision. So I'm not certain what triggered you. Where's my, where's your body? with Jarvis being the framework and the backbone. However, as we know, the vision in Westview is nothing more than a creation of Wanda's broken imagination rather than being Vision and Jarvis reborn. Also, the Mind Stone is nothing more than space dust now, leaving Ultron as the sole owner of Vision. Now, it is possible that Jarvis is still in White Vision, but without Tony or his plans, it's likely S.W.O.R.D. has no idea what the difference is between the rivaling Matrixes. Or, as the monster he is, Director Hayward chose Ultron's AI and modified it to be obedient, creating the cold-hearted weapon he wanted. However, as all government agencies learn who try to control the uncontrollable, S.W.O.R.D.'s plans will soon end in failure. Ultron is not one to be controlled, especially by lowly humans. It's highly likely Ultron will regain full sentience and cut himself free from the strings that once bound him. When he does, S.W.O.R.D., Westview, and the world will be in danger. 
What could Ultron's return mean for the season finale of WandaVision, and even more so for the future of the MCU? As mentioned before, at first it's likely Ultron will be under Sword's control. However, once he crosses paths with Vision, all bets will be off, as seeing Vision may be the catalyst that will awaken Ultron's true self. With Ultron's plan for human extinction failing to be realized, of course this will be his number one agenda after destroying Vision for ruining his initial plans. However, I'm unsure if Vision will be destroyed or if Ultron will remain a factor throughout Phase 4 of the MCU. Previously, we learned that everything inside of Westview is real, such as Wanda's kids. Only reality has been warped. We still don't know who or what her kids really are, but we do know that once Vision made his way outside of Westview, he became nothing more than a bucket of bolts. A real bucket of bolts. If done inside Westview, is it possible Wanda could somehow transfer Vision's fake consciousness into White Vision if Ultron is defeated? This would call back to the Vision and Anti-Vision storyline which has been adapted for this story. A second theory calls back to the possibility that Jarvis is somewhere inside of White Vision. Ultron is just in the driver's seat. What if Wanda can somehow reach Vision through some emotional connection? At least enough for Vision to come back to life and stop Ultron from within. If it does go this route, I could see the real Vision coming back for an instant just to say goodbye to Wanda. I came back and died again. And she had to watch. Much like the comics, we would be left with White Vision, who has been factory reset and fighting to become his true self. Going this route would allow Vision's true origin story to be told through the introduction of Wonder Man, which would be awesome. However, Wanda losing Vision for a third time would be her breaking point, causing the event that sends the multiverse into madness. A cool fact we didn't talk about is Vision's true origins, aka the Human Torch. Not the one you're thinking of, but the cool suit of armor that was displayed at the Stark Expo in Captain America. Maybe this will be the way Vision truly comes back to life? A man can dream, right?